Everything is fine, everyone's comfortable, food, cigars, wine. Colonel? He's here, sir. I love this house. Seeing it from the air, you can appreciate the architect. Are we ready? Absolutely, sir. And after the war, it will be my home. Marvelous home. So? Sir, so there have been questions unrelated about Moscow, but I think I've deflected them successfully. Hitler. 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 Understood. If we keep doing this all day, we will never finish. With no disrespect to our Führer, it is suspended until the conclusion of business, fine? Yes, sir. Very good. That's wine, sir. You have all had what you need. Well, then, let us do what we are here for and uh, refreshments after. It will be a buffet lunch. Very good. Dr. Kritzinger. General. Important that you be here. Let us begin. Our Führer, how is his mood? Well, commanding, of course. His generals in Russia are a disgrace. In calling this conference, it should have been my... In office. a moment, in a moment. Gentlemen, your places are identified. Thank you all for coming. Please uh, sit down. I'm sorry that I held you up a little, but you had uh, elegant wine, I'm sure. And no one there to say it's too early for that. <laughs> Now, are you all set up? It's prepared. Very good. Well, then, at the risk of sounding like the first day at summer camp, let us go around the table and introduce ourselves for those who do not know others. I shall save myself for last and start with General Muller. Major General Heinrich Muller, SS Gestapo. Kruppel, representing the party, that is who I speak for. I am Kritzinger, Ministerial Director of the Reich Chancery. I appreciate being called, but I wonder why I'm here. The topic to be discussed, the coordination of the Jewish question, I believe, was resolved. It will be. With, with the Führer stating to me and to my superior, it, General um, Hamas. It will be. So, General Hoffmann, Race and Settlement Main Office. Uh, we deal with matters of race and settlement. Is it me? Leibrandt. The political office of the Ministry for All We Hold and Administer in Eastern Poland, the Baltics, and in the Soviet Union. And I am the State Secretary for the Ministry as a whole. Give them your name. Meyer. Doctor. Sorry. Stuckart, Interior Ministry. Martin Luther. And the Secretary of the Foreign Ministry. I met almost everybody. Uh, my name is Neumann, Director, Office of the Four-Year Plan. Langer, Deputy Commander of SS Task Forces in Latvia, among other things. Oh, we all have other things. I'm Josef Buller, Secretary of State of the General Government of German-occupied Poland. How cold is it up there? Better Krakow than Warsaw. Oh, now that it is run by Germans, you should be spared those Polish winters. <laughs> Not the case. Schoengart, SS, assigned to the General Government. Dr. Freisler, Ministry of Justice. Also, I hold rank in the stormtroopers. So, that is who I am. Adolf Eichmann. SS Gestapo, Office of Jewish Affairs, and that should be... Yes, that's all. And I am Heidegg, SS Chief of Reich Security Main Office and Rice Protector of Bohemia and Moravia. And welcome. Now, you have each been given some papers. These are for you alone. No copies to be made, not to be seen by others or discussed with others except superiors. How we deal with matters here must be held secret from our enemies. We control events better when we control opinion. Today, each of us becomes a bearer of secrets. And our secretary will be discreet. He agrees. He agrees, excellent. Communication between us after today will pass in both directions through Lieutenant Colonel Eichmann, acting as my deputy for all Jewish matters. He is your focal point. So, to begin, we have a storage problem in Germany with these Jews. And there have been conversations for almost a year now about this Jew and that Jew and the complexities of the law. And this problem, as you, I'm sure, know, has tormented us. As you know, we first undertook to expel them from all means by which our people would have to deal with them. Every sphere of life of our German people. The laws we enacted at Nuremberg. And we should all drink a toast to Dr. Stuckert for devising them. <clears throat> co-author. Uh, modestly, I am the co-author. They established the fundamental legality for the creation of a Jew-free society, a Jew-free economy for the world to see. And we indeed have eliminated the Jew from our national life. Now, more than that, the Jew himself must be physically eradicated from our living space. 